It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this is Ketchup Packets. Today we're back with another movie. We have a patron request. We are watching The Menu from 2022. Ooh. What do you know about this movie, Nate? Nothing. I had never heard of it before. Yeah? Until you, yeah, until it got requested. I have heard of it. It was like in, you know, the lists people made in 2022 of like, here's all the cool hip movies you gotta check out. This was like a part of the onslaught of anti the wealthy movies, I believe, oh, okay. is its reputation. Yeah, like people right. talked about it in the same breath as The White Lotus. The TV mm, show on yep, HBO, sure. or Triangle of Sadness, I believe, is another movie that's about like rich people on a yacht or something. Got it. Um, Succession is something that people talked oh, about this. So that's I I believe that this is part of that realm of like it's uh, showing the decadence and and disgustingness yeah, of the rich right. culture. Okay, interesting. Um, I did know that these three actors we can see on the screen. We're all in it. We got Anya Taylor Joy, Nicholas Holt, and Ray Fiennes. All good actors. Mm -hmm. You know them from stuff. Mm -mm. Nicholas Holt, you know, from Mad Max Fury Road. That's the war boy. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. All right, yeah, 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 okay. Ray Fiennes is Voldemort. Oh my god, yeah. All <laughs> so, right. Well, I didn't recognize him by yeah, the way, yeah. you know. He's a lot of other things, too. Yeah. He's a very famous actor in a lot many things. A movie we have to watch on this channel someday, The Grand Budapest Hotel. He is oh, the yeah. main character in that, and that is one of the funniest movies in the world, in my really? opinion. Really? Yes. All right. Um, yeah, but I don't, um, I don't know really what to expect about the plot or anything, apart yeah. from just sort of the subject, like, general subject matter. But, yeah, do we just dive right in then? Yeah, I think we should. I'm kind of excited for this, honestly. It looks, yeah. like, it looks interesting. It does, and we're going in cold, so that's always fun. Thanks for the request. Peace, love, happiness. And, uh, yeah, we have a Patreon link down there in the description of the video that you can click on and see our Patreon page. And there are things there that you may avail yourself of or some I don't know I'm this why is, am I talking this is great. let's watch the yeah. menu <laughs> please don't smoke it'll kill your palate and my palate will die happy <laughs> tonight is huge okay the flavor profiles it's all super delicate when you smoke you ruin your ability to be able to appreciate oh, that. please okay wow it's really serious about the food Right, but this is good writing, establishing the dynamic right away, mm -hmm. you know? She's the outsider being brought into a yeah. fancy thing. It's like, I want you to get the full experience. Well, and he's also wanting to impress people, like he's a climber trying to get in. Yeah, oh yeah, good point. Please make yourselves comfortable for our short journey to Hawthorne Island. Thank you. That's a scary voice. And they're going to an island. Mm -hmm. John Leguizamo! Yes! Awesome. Welcome to Hawthorne. Miss Westervelt? It's not Miss Westervelt. She has a change of plans, so Miss Westervelt, can, this is Miss. I'm Margo. Hi. Nice to meet you. Mm. Oh. Okay. Come on. You gotta play it when in Rome and all that, right? You gotta Margo. abide the customs. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Mrs. Lee welcome. We'll just go straight to the restaurant if you don't mind. Oh, I can already tell where the tension is coming from here. She's completely out of water. She's with a guy that she probably doesn't know very well. This is a new relationship. Is she being They're brought here island. as a sacrifice of some kind? I, I mean, it could be something like that. I have no idea what to expect from the yeah. tone of this movie. Nope. Each day starts at six with five hours of prep work. We harvest, we ferment, we slaughter, we marinate, we liquefy, we spherify. Cool. We gel. So it's like the best restaurant on earth because it's yeah. people who live the restaurant yeah. for their whole Dinner's lifestyle. Four hours and you guys ever get burned out or? Burned out? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Like tired of. No, it's their entire lives. We never burn anything unless by design. To make delicious. Now, mm. who's hungry? Where is food at the end of the street? Yeah, this is like a. Uh, Elsa. The amount of dedication that you have to have would be astonishing. Right, well, if they produce every single thing they serve in the restaurant here from square one, you right, know, it's yeah. like that's all the work that's really involved in food. You yeah, know? the entire island kind of is the restaurant in mm -hmm. that way. Yeah, every door that closes behind her, she's like, oh, I'm deeper in now. She's realizing how much she doesn't 
fit in with the rest of the people who are here, mm -hmm. you know? Please do not photograph our dishes. Chef strongly feels that the beauty in his creations lies in their ephemeral nature. He's following the instructions, though. He put his mm -hmm. phone away. It's yep. interesting to see. First, I would like to say thank you for the last two years. This opportunity has been... Oh, dude! She yeah, saw that! Yeah. He's not sneaky. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wild. They're unhappy with you. Yeah. Chefs, they play with the raw materials of life itself. On death okay. Itself, I've watched them play a raw scallop during its last dying contraction. He's... Muscle is art on the edge of the abyss, which is where God works, too. Okay. He's making an interesting point in the douchiest way possible. Yep. Exactly, yeah. Cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Imagine having the skill to do it, too. Like, I understand what that character's mm -hmm. fascination with this kind of art. Yeah, totally. It's beautiful. <gasps> Good evening. I'm Julian Slowick, and tonight it'll be our pleasure to feed you. I have to beg of you one thing. It's just one. Do not eat. What? Taste. Yeah. Savor. It's it's like Relish. a wine taste, and you're supposed to spit it you out afterwards. Every morsel that you place inside I think mouth. No, they don't no. think they have to spit it out. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. But sometimes these really, really fancy places. I mean, I've never been to a place quite like this, but you know, I've been to some nice restaurants before. Mm -hmm. And like, you come in hungry, everything tastes amazing, and then you leave hungry. Then you go get a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I find it all very moving. It's also beautiful. I just. Almost Stop taking pictures yeah, of the dude. food, man! No, the oh. restaurant in my hometown. I mean, this looks like a suburban land. Who is this lady? She is just mean mugging everybody who paid all this money to come. No, I'm talking about, about the old lady that he was pouring wine for right oh. there. Like we haven't really seen her do anything. Ancient Greek peasants dipped their stale, measly bread in wine for breakfast. It is and has always been the food of the common man. But you, my dear guests, are not the common man. And so tonight, you get no bread. What? Okay. Talk up the bread and then... Breadless. Bread plate. What? I'm not going to serve bread at a restaurant known for their bread. That's sweet. What? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I mean, the game is trying to guess what the overarching theme of the entire meal is going to be. You won't know until the end. Oh, yeah. Please basically insulting you. Mm, no, 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 you don't get it. It's a concept. I know what a concept is, Tyler. Trust me, he's telling a story. That's what makes his food so exciting. He's not just a chef, he's a poet. He's mansplaining it. Yes. This is, this is yep. mansplaining. Yep, and she's like, this is stupid. It's like, you don't get it. <laughs> but... The food's great and we totally get all the conceptual stuff, but could we please get a little bread, you know, and some gluten-free for my friend as well? No. <laughs> No. Whoa. This is like if the soup Nazi from Seinfeld had yeah. a really high end restaurant. Yeah. Clever in it. Let us know bread. Please. We won't tell the soul lady. I promise, okay? No. Uh. Did you say no? I said no, yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. That'll be all though. Thanks. He wants these rich patrons to experience not getting something they want. You think so? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a pleasure to serve you. Whoa. I mean, I mean, yeah, this. I would be terrified to be in this place. Right, but you're you're paying to have your mind blown. You know, you're kind of yeah. paying to be yeah, to be shook so. a little bit. It's not just go to a restaurant. This is great stuff. Am I? That was a total accident. I did. Oh, I don't think yeah. you're supposed to break a glass. Yeah, supposed to. Blaming her? You haven't touched your food. There, there is no food. No, no, this is food. I want to fill up. That would not be possible. I've precisely designed the portions to account for that, so <laughs> you won't fill up. These are <laughs> it's like you're not going to leave satisfiedly full. Thank you for your concern, but I am perfectly capable of deciding when I eat and what. 
Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, she doesn't even care about no. like his authority or whatever. Yeah. She's like, I don't know you, bro. Humiliating. Yeah. She's like, what is he? he's probably wondering what she's doing here. This is the lady I was wondering who is she? She's somebody. Clearly, what's this? A different kind of future. Does that make sense? Of a corporate Thank God it's all just hypothetical anyway. The next course is called memory. It is kind of alarming. Mm hmm Couldn't it be like a ding? A memory. No, I think the whole idea is about putting everyone on edge the whole time. Tuesday was taco night. Oh, yeah. Taco Tuesday. And this here, this lady here, this is my mother. Okay. When I was seven years old, one Tuesday, my father came home quite drunk. My mother grew angry and screamed at him, at which point he proceeded to wrap a telephone cord around her neck and pull it tight. Okay. To make him stop, I finally had to stab him in the thigh with kitchen scissors. Whoa. Whoa. So, here you have house smoked breast chicken thigh al pastor and our own tortillas made with heirloom mast. An update to a classic, the images on the tortillas have been made using a laser engraving machine. It's the first time we've used it. Whoa. We hope this taco night evokes strong memories for us all. Enjoy. Oh, interesting. I wonder if it's going to be specific to each diner. Right. But and like except upsetting in some way, yeah, because she's not the right person. The restaurants that I reviewed that all closed. Oh. Huh. Tyler, is that you? What in the no, world? Taking fucking photos. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what's with this guy? Anyway, he hates me. God damn it. I didn't, I yeah, didn't dude. really mind that Wait, um, guys, what the fuck? Money? Please? It's like statements. What? It's not good. <laughs> it's like evidence uh, of crimes. Yeah. <laughs> then how are these? These are tortillas. Tortillas deliciosas. Yeah. <laughs> these are tortillas. Yeah. <laughs> Echo Bright's tax records and other documents showing how your company has created invoices with fake charges. How did you get these? I'm sorry, but Chef never reveals his recipes. That's so funny. She's enjoying yeah. this so much. Enjoy. And this is you. Are they gonna kill everyone? No. <laughs> I think they're trying to ruin everyone's lives. This is gonna be like the dinner that changes your life forever. Like, okay. I have to make this right somehow. I have to. Well, I'll tell you how you make it right. You send this shit back. Excuse me. Excuse Don't me, send it back. What are you doing? You do not send shit back to this kitchen, you child. You thank them for even letting you in the door. What did you just call me? I called you a child. Fuck me oh. Oh boy. You apologize to me right now. You cannot speak to me that way. Actually, I can because ding dong, I'm the one who's paying. So maybe shut up and eat. Oh, oh boy. The money allows me to disrespect you. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh my god. He's just gonna pretend he didn't say any of that. Don't let me interrupt. You can't just leave. The door's locked. Mm -hmm. No way you can get out. She's trying to escape. No, she's gonna smoke. Okay. Wings. He oh, heard that. Yeah, she's gonna get in a lot of trouble for smoking no, in the bathroom. Yeah. I need to know. Why don't you eat? Why do you care? I take my work very seriously, and you're not eating. I mean, and that wounds me. Yeah, I mean, I can understand the question. You well, know, when like, everybody pays yeah. so much to come here, this must be so bizarre for him to see somebody who doesn't care. Well, you know? also like, I, despite the fact that I may seem like an asshole, I am trying <laughs> to make you something special. You're hurting so my like, feelings. Yeah. yeah, that's a tarp. They're gonna There's kill an animal in here. Mm -hmm. Oh nope, they're gonna dry some herbs. They are 100% spilling blood on that white tarp. It does seem that way, doesn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, please meet sous chef Jeremy Loudon. 
Did you spill his blood on that tarp? No. Jeremy created the next dish. It's called the mess. Even when all goes right and the food is perfect, and the customers are happy, and the critics are too, there is no way to avoid the mess. By giving everything you have to pleasing people, you will never know. Jeremy. Interesting. Mm. Do you like this life? This life that you dreamed about? No, Chef. Mm -hmm. And do you want my life? Not my position. He's like legitimately upset. My life. Yeah. But it's also, I mean, this is a performance and they know that too, you know? The mess. Is he gonna kill himself? Oh! Whoa! Oh shit! Well, I didn't see that coming. He doesn't give a shit. God, dude, yeah, dude. Well, he's obviously just completely disconnected from everything. Part of the show. This is what you're paying for. That's that's not. This is what you're paying for. Was that real? Yeah, he's dead. Is this real? What is happening? No, no, no. This this is just theater. That escalated quickly. The fact that it might be real makes it just as traumatic. You know, even if they did fake that, you still traumatize everyone. What's this? Bone marrow. The mess. Meat, yeah. Charred onion. R.I.P. Jeremy Loud. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Enjoy. Damn. I'm not eating another thing they put on the table after this. Yeah, you know, you see somebody die in yeah. here and be like, all of a sudden, the, the stakes of this situation have changed dramatically. Yeah, right. I no longer trust you to the give me food. Probably still delicious. Sorry. Tyler be just became the scariest character by not giving a shit that this is happening. Yep. yep. And how unfazed the rest of the staff is, you know. Well, they knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, I guess so. We're leaving. Is something wrong? We're leaving. They're not allowed to leave. Is something wrong? I'll call a helicopter. I'll handle this. Just. With which hand, Mr. Lieber? What? With which hand will you handle this, left or right? What the fuck are you saying? Shall we choose? Choose what? Cut his hand off? Very well. Left hand. Ring finger. You're cutting his finger off. Breaking his finger? No! Yeah! Mm-hmm. So when you try to leave, they cut your finger off. Whoa! So sit down and eat your fucking food! Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm gonna eat. No, Tyler's still. Yeah. Please stay seated. He is. He just became kind of the scariest part of the movie, didn't he? Mm hmm. Everyone else yeah. is horrified. The person that's just totally chill about all this is the scariest one. That guy was already in here when our, our people came in, though. Is it fake? Oh. The guy who's just got his finger cut off. Oh, we interesting. They were already yeah. sitting in here. Yeah, you might be right. Go talk to him because you know yeah, that's, I mean, that would make sense. You'll never forget this dining experience. It's a show. Your husband's ring, madam? I don't know, maybe not, but I do, yeah. they were already sitting in here. Chef Swalik would like to see you in the kitchen. No. <laughs> yeah. This menu. This guest list, this entire evening has been painstakingly planned, and you were not a part of that plan. And it's spoiling everything. Oh, God. To proceed, I have to know where to seat you. With us, or with them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? We're all gonna die tonight. Isn't that right? Yes, sir! Whoa! Do you want to die with those who give, or with those who take? But I die either way. In the meantime, please return to your seat. The next dish is exquisite. Yeah, it is kind of like an element of like, you, it's not that you don't belong here, it's that you don't belong out there with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Very intriguing. Yeah, why did he bring her here? My loyal regulars. How many times have you eaten here in the last five years? I don't know. Six or seven. I think it's more than that, Dick. Eleven. Yeah, they were already in here, see? Most people consider themselves blessed if they eat here only once. Yeah, they just they lost count of this experience. One dish you ate the last time you were here. So they don't even appreciate it or remember it. It wasn't cod, you donkey. It was halibut. Rare fucking spotted halibut. What does it matter? It matters, what does it matter, you yeah. say to him? And Doug Verrick is my angel investor. He owns this island and this restaurant. Oh, Since so that's why they thought they could get life, the hookup. Mm. Oh. So that's the, Whoa, the yeah. billionaire guy? And those are the angel wings. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 Fall an angel, please. No. 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 What are they just gonna do? Gonna drown him? This is fucking insane. I said, listen. I feel like you gotta spill his blood for the full effect, right? You can't just put him in the water. Do you hear? I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. With the wings, it helps. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to make your decision for you. You belong here. With your own breed. She's not one of the ultra wealthy no. yep. snobs. Exactly. I can tell as one provider of experiences to another that you don't rattle easily. So, how did he rattle you? He didn't Margo. rattle. Oh, so she's an escort. I haven't desired to cook for someone in ages. Come with me. Maybe he's feeling the desire to cook for her. That's she's what I'm thinking. Not yeah. wanting the food. For our next course, let us take the evening air. Come on, outside. Please. Come on, sir. Outside, everyone. It's a chance to get away. I like. Well, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> We're gonna die today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our next course will be presented by sous chef. Catherine Keller. <laughs> Why is, is Tyler just suicidal and he came here to get killed? No, yeah. <clears throat> Three years ago, Julian Slowick tried to fuck me. I refused his advances. He kept me in his kitchen and refused to look me in the eye or speak directly to me for eight months. Our next course is called Man's Folly. Man's folly. Oh no. You're gonna cut mm, something off him? Stab him. Stab him. <laughs> right in the dick. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck, man. And then hug him? Oh. <laughs> not. Nah, okay. I mean, huh. Violence is wrong. Bad. Yeah. But it's not an entirely inappropriate punishment for the situation either. Nope. <laughs> Members of my staff will try and catch you. If they do catch, okay. Forty-five seconds starts now. If they do catch us, what? Well, he he ran before they could find out. So the women just don't have to do this one. Hmm. I think. Oh. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Chickens. Oh, okay. Hide. That's an interesting mm-hmm. technique. A special bite for the last guest to be caught. A little play on the passard egg with creme fraiche and maple. All right. It looks good. What did you get? Sir, please. Sorry. What's the deal with his mom being there? Yeah, I don't know. That's It's a loose end still. There's there's a lot of those. I'm afraid our menu cannot continue as planned until we deal with an unresolved matter. You. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler sucks. You, <laughs> what were you told ahead of time? Don't take pictures. You told me it'd be the greatest menu ever created. Right. And? And? That everyone would die. Everyone would die. 
seemed to remember you had a date. Not the young woman here tonight. Oh. oh. That's the girl. Uh, it's just because you don't offer scenes for one. So he sacrificed her life. She died. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Ooh. Kind of happy to see that. I gave you, Tyler, access to our world. Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh, I swore you to secrecy. Why do you think I'd do this? You said I know a lot about food. That's right. You're not like the others, are you? I mean, you, uh, you're a cook. <laughs> Cooks belong in the kitchen. Right? Yes, sir! You're gonna yeah. kill him? Now, cook. cook. He watches cooking shows. Oh, he can't cook. Yeah, he's not a cook. Everyone gather around. You must learn from Tyler. This is a... New, uh, new yeah, cause his hands are not adept. Yeah. He's never done it. Oh. Are you allowed to say, okay, I get it? You're right? I don't think so. <laughs> Have to continue embarrassing yourself? Mm. It's actually quite bad. Of course. That's what everyone is eating. Tyler's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Let her lack of cognition. <laughs> Come here, son. What did he say, I wonder? Whoa. There's only one more savory course left in our menu. That means we must prepare for dessert. Dessert requires a large barrel that is supposed to be there in the corner. Mondo, you will fetch the barrel instead. Me? Yes, you remember the smokehouse. Uh, hmm? Maybe bake. I don't. Go. Go. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. By his tie? Man, that is rough, dude. It is. I still. And what did the chef say to say to him? I don't know. We don't. We. I don't know. I don't think we'll get to here. I just don't think it's really fair. Maybe. If 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 if. Do you want to know why you're being punished? Yeah. What about yeah. him? I saw the film calling Doctor Sunshine. I did not enjoy it. Look, I, I, I didn't direct it, I just acted in it. The memory of your face in that film. <laughs> Damn. You again now. Is that a real movie? No, I don't no, think so. Okay. What happens to an artist when he loses his purpose? So he's so offended by bad art? No, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. A different dining room? No one is allowed inside Chef's house. Oh. Why'd you put the knife down? Yeah, that was unwise. So that you will not replace me. Replace you. Trust me, I have What? Oh shit. That's a good weapon. Yeah. No, retain that. Yeah. She's not good at that. Oh! Yeah, Jesus. that's it. Yeah, that's gonna do throat. it. Okay, but it's a different dining room, right? It's the same door? No. Yeah, I don't know. It's the exact same like layout, but a different place. Chef's house? Yeah. It started hamburger at Hamburger house. Howie's. Oh my god. <gasps> what? Is you know, it's a CB? Yeah, you could probably yeah. contact the mainland with it. She got the barrel. Who'd she call? 
Oh, she called the boat! Ask yourselves this entire evening. Why didn't you all try harder to fight back? To get out of here? Honestly, you probably could have. Something to think about. Hmm. Yeah. It's a squid game situation. They signed up. Yep. Good evening, officer. How can we help you? I got a report of disturbance. Right. He's clearly like what kind of a disturbance? Yeah, he's not doing so hot, huh? Right. You can see at a glance that there's something wrong. Did anybody here call in a distress over the shortwave tonight? We're not in the habit of serving our guests shortwave radios with their meals. <laughs> uh, but the, I mean, the Coast Guard guy's going, somebody did. Mm -hmm. I got a call. Yeah. Look at their yeah, faces. Right. You can tell something's wrong here. Are you... Yes, 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 I, I am. Oh, wow. I, I'm a big fan. Would you like his autograph? Uh, no, we have a pen. Let's do it. This Coast Guard guy is dead. Yeah, he's gonna write down, please help us, sir. Oh, uh, they're killing us or something like that. Yeah. My wife and I, we love that, um, oh, what's it called? The one oh, where uh, you play the surgeon. Yeah. Call him Dr. Sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, now he is gonna yeah. die because he liked that movie, too. Yeah. Okay, but if you... No. That's stupid! He surreptitiously gave you the help us note, you leave and come back with more yeah, dudes. Right. A lot more dudes. Don't walk in front of the guy with the gun, though. You. On your knees with your hands over your head, now. You got eyes on everybody? Because somebody's got a gun and they're just gonna dome you. Nobody move until I say so. I think His the whole head's gonna the blow entire up. staff is like in on this. Mm -hmm. There's no way. <gasps> it's fake. Oh. Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Oh my god, of course. It was too big a coincidence that he mentioned the yeah. movie. You're an eater. You're a taker. And all the rest. Damn. She almost got out of this. I hey, don't works. like your food. What did you say? I said, I don't like your food, and I would like to send it back. A send back! Well. When I eat your food, it tastes like it was made with no love. Come on, chef. I thought tonight was a night of hard home truth. This is one of them you cook with obsession. Yeah. Not yeah. Love. You're a chef. Your single purpose on this earth is to serve people food that they might actually like, and you have failed. Hmm. <laughs> And you bored me. The worst part is, I'm still fucking hungry. What are you hungry for? What do you have? Everything. You know what I'd really like? Tell me. A cheeseburger. <gasps> nice! Ooh, Didn't yeah, I say you go, go get a cheeseburger after a fancy restaurant? No, we can do a cheeseburger. A real cheeseburger. He kind of likes that. Not some fancy it's the last time he was happy. Bullshit, a real Cheeseburger. It's a challenge. Making very cheeseburger. Good, very traditional cheeseburger. Oh, because she saw the picture. Mm -hmm. How much will that set me back? Nine ninety-five. That come with fries. Crinkle cut for Julienne. Julienne. Exactly. Please. Like McDonald's. Yeah. Straight, straight fries. Straight yeah. cut. I like those too. Everyone else. Just sitting in the dining room watching this happen, be like, "Yeah, hey, can, can I have a burger too?" I mean, they're all worried about their death. Right. Oh, she got crinkle, crinkle cut type. fries. Does look real good. Yeah, it's a good burger. <laughs> She's covered in blood. Yeah. <laughs> That is a cheeseburger. 
Unfortunately, I think my eyes were a little bigger than my stomach. <laughs> I understand. Still not gonna eat it? Can I get the rest to go? <laughs> One moment, please. <gasps> Just a well made <laughs> cheeseburger. Thank you for dining at Half Moon. Everyone else is gonna die. She gets to go yeah. home. Yeah, she said like, go if you're being let let go just go oh. Staying here to die too mm -hmm. doesn't help any of us <laughs> Man He's been rocked I'm gonna set the whole place on fire. Oh shit That's sawdust <laughs> and, yeah. Kindling. Cheese. Sauce. Ah, the no. whole place is a plate. We're gonna flambe the whole restaurant. Oh my god. We don't burn anything except on purpose. Mm-hmm. She said at the oh, beginning. Oh shit, you're right. Oh. Marshmallows. Oh, marshmallow vests. Holy shit, that's terrifying. This is really cool. Yeah. Chocolate hat. Delicious. And now our yeah. final dessert course is a playful twist on the comfort food classic. Oh, it's a, a s'more. s'more. The most offensive assault on the human palate ever contrived. <laughs> Unethically sourced. But what transforms this fucking monstrosity is fire. You gotta drive the boat home yourself? Yeah, I guess. Warms us. I feel like at this point, even if you didn't we know how to drive a boat, you'd try. To figure it out, yeah. We must be cleansed. Made clean. His mother, too. Why, you know, but like. Mars, she's gonna die? Yeah, I guess so. I love you all. We love you, Sam! Okay, whoa! Oh, what a way! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Customer staff yeah. restaurant. <laughs> Do you finish the cheeseburger while you're watching everyone burn up like that? Oh, for sure! I would- that thing looks so good! It'd <laughs> yeah, be so probably. hard to put it in the box and eat it just to- and walk away to make my point, you That's know? I would point, have to eat yeah. the whole thing. What? The clap! At the end! Well... Yeah, what was that? That Last little was piece. certainly something. Whoa! The menu! Yeah, that- from 2022! I liked that. I liked that a lot. I did too! Very interesting, yeah. Definitely a keep you guessing movie. Mm -hmm. you know? It was continually, the whole time, wondering what was hap- Yeah, I still- Like, every high concept movie like this, there are pieces of it that I'm still like, but wait, but why that? And like, mm -hmm. why with his mom being there, like you said, exactly, you know? Exactly, yeah. Like, what did that contribute at all to it? Well, just that he, it was about the totality of life, you know, I think is what the overall theme of the meal. You know, what did Tyler say toward the beginning, like, there has to be a theme that ties the whole thing together, and you won't know until the end, you know? So yeah. it's like, what is... But what did we learn at the end there was the theme that tied, like, did she become the new him? Is that what that clap was? I don't know. She can't cook. Yeah, it's right? true. Right, so far as we know. No, but he couldn't, he was just making cheeseburgers at the start, you know, he... Yeah. I don't know, I... Yeah, I mean, but she's an escort, not a... Right. Not a cook. Not a, not a burger flipper. There were, yeah, like, I sort of expected there to be some sort of a big reveal at some point, mm -hmm. you know? I kind of expected the movie to turn on itself again, and that yeah. never really came. It was, no. like, once the... the first sous chef... head off... Yeah, it, it was, was the point where like, okay, the stakes are here now, and then it just proceeded from there. There was never mm -hmm. another, oh, and now this, you know, like it was... We were... That's not a complaint, really, but no. it's, it's simpler than maybe I thought it would be. We were 
the entire time, you know, pontificating about what that would be, right? Exactly, it's like, oh, yeah. it's, he's not actually dead, this is part of the mm -hmm. script, or like... She's actually yeah. somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah we thought, actor, yeah. Right. We like, thought that maybe... Guy uh, getting his finger Mar cut Margo, off as an actor, right, and all we that thought stuff. Margo could be a spy or something like that, right? So, yeah, I don't... And it's like, no, it's kind of everything is exactly as it is and as it seems, and then at the end, everybody dies. But he so let her go. Which is fine, you know? It's almost like not overcomplicating it made it... Like, we're, we're so... We're so messed. Our palette for for film is so unrefined. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. well, I know <laughs> it's uh, ruined by the cigarettes of twi twi twists and exactly, needing yeah. to have no and things not quite be as they seem. Right. But they gave us that like in the first quarter of the movie, and they were like, "No, this now it now you get exactly what you." It's, it's what you violent for. restaurant. Yes. One of my one of the most frustrating things when I go to a restaurant is when the the description is there on the menu. And then when they bring it to you, it's like not what you kind of expected. Yeah, and it's like, I, I know I'm not sure I'm familiar with that experience. Not trying to sub like, stop trying to subvert my expectations. <laughs> with Give food, me what yeah. I asked for. Exactly. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, there's a definitely value in that. I was hungry for what it. So, and I'm not saying that the ingredients are different. It's more like the way that it's worded on the menu, and then they bring it out in the plate, and you're like. Well, that's not quite what I had in mind, you <laughs> Have know? Have you seen that subreddit called We Want Plates? That's people who put, like, yeah, post like, a food that's served in bad dishes. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> just ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, there was kind of some of that going on in here, too. It's yeah. like, the pretentiousness of the food was... It is exactly when you go to really, really fancy restaurants. And I'm not saying this as somebody who goes to really fancy restaurants all the time, but yeah. I, I gotta say, like... I have been to a couple and it I am oftentimes there's like almost like a there's a point at which I become disappointed because it's like you're trying too hard. I exactly. am here because well, I'm right. hungry and I want good food. It's not because I want I don't need a rock with leaves on it. <laughs> yeah. Like just but, give me a sky like scallops. Just give me a scallop. When it's at that level, they're charging so much because the idea is that they're providing an experience that you don't just get when you merely buy a scallop to eat it. You know, right, and that's sure. kind of what he was talking about at the beginning with this and I'm not into it. It's not something that, you know, no. like, uh, I don't identify with it at all, but the idea of, and why people who do like this kind of thing like it is because it's ex the exclusivity. It's the, that right, it's not yeah. something that normal people can can get this experience. You, you know would I mean? not believe the dinner I had last right, night. Right, right. Kind of There's... Thing, you know? Oh, I'm trying to remember where I've seen it depicted. I know they did it on the show Succession, for sure, and I think that there was at least one other place... Like on one other media piece, I saw this in, but it's a real dish that very rich people eat. Where you like, you put a napkin over your head, and then you eat an entire deep fried bird. Have you ever seen this? No. It's like a sparrow-sized bird, and they pick it up by the head and just eat the entire thing. And like the bones cut the inside of your mouth supposedly, but the blood is part of the flavor of the dish. Your, you, your own blood? Yeah, yeah, your own yeah, your own blood is part of the flavor of the dish because the bird's bones cut you when you eat the entire body. Mm -hmm. And you put a napkin over your head before you bite down on it to hide the shame from God of what you're doing. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is a real yeah, rich sure. Okay. Anybody in the, uh, who knows what I'm talking about, leave a comment about this practice that they showed. Tom and Greg did it on Succession, and I've definitely heard that it's a real thing, so I don't know. And, and like, to anybody in, in our audience who may have had, like, that kind of thing before, mm -hmm. like, like, without no judgment, is it good? Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> when you're eat, like, would you like, is, is there a point where you're like, man, I could go for like two more of those sparrows. That was so good. <laughs> yeah, I don't you know. know. Again, I think it's not about like the eating to feel full or to satiate your hunger. It's a different kind of a thing mm -hmm. than that. Yeah, I but guess. But it also happens to feed you while you're doing it. Sure. Yeah, it is. It does kind of feel like a very fancy wine tasting where you then spit it out. You right. You don't actually I mean, like swallow it. It's kind of... To put it like, an, another comparison... That I think sort of would, you know, uh, something like heavy metal or a music genre that is uh, unappealing, like dissonant or not appealing yeah. to the senses on the surface. But people are listening to it for a different type of experience they get from listening to it rather mm -hmm. than just putting on pop music. Right. You know? I'm not a heavy metal fan, but I'm just trying to make the comparison of things that are not immediately like sensory appealing mm -hmm. to just the average person, but there is a certain section of people that find an appeal in the experience it does deliver. Right, and one of the things you can really appreciate about heavy metal, and like, 
I do kind of like listening to heavy metal and uh, like at certain times, you know, like if I'm mm-hmm. doing certain things, I'll I'll turn it on and like don't ask me my favorite heavy metal band because I won't be able to name any of them. I just kind of turn on like a channel on sure, yeah, on Spotify or whatever. But it's like you add the more you listen to it, the subtle nuances of like the true like skill of what the musicians are doing like mm-hmm. does like creep out from the noise and you yeah. can like really identify. But that's almost what I feel like eating complex food that seems simple on the surface is kind of like you know because it does just feel like a wall of noise to begin with but then you like you know you have a sandwich that's like a really good sandwich mm-hmm. and you're like this is really good yeah you know what i mean i bet that the cheeseburger he made at the end was probably was, yeah. superior you know yeah. you probably got like the ooh, yeah good stuff you know yeah there's i've seen a clip of gordon ramsay making a cheeseburger where it really yeah, afterwards yeah. You're like i want to eat that yeah <laughs> right a highly it's, skilled person can i mean when I was learning audio engineering, one of the uh, first tips they gave us starting out is when you're first trying to learn how to like mix a song or something, make a cheese pizza. Is that you know do something simple before you put a bunch of toppings in and mm, learn how to make yeah, that well right. too. You know, and so it's about the you gotta hone your simple skills, and then you can uh, people who hone those super well can go up to the complex levels. But then if they go back down to making something really simple, they're excellent at it. Right. Know? Yeah. So I guess the, the the food equivalent to that is like then if you're if you're mix if you're making writing a song and it's just sort of like noise mm-hmm. is that good just because it's weird? Or yeah, just no, like, no. Again, does that, that give it more value? No, you charge more. For- Tyler's bullshit, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's, yeah, can, exactly. it's very easy to be bad at it too, you know. And even if you've heard a lot of heavy metal doesn't mean you can make heavy metal yeah to, to compare to tyler what did he say to tyler why did tyler yeah. go hang himself with his necktie i feel like it could have been just something as simple as you suck at this go die i hate you, know, you. Like, i have no respect for you yeah right you, this is the end of the meal I, for you i think you're annoying yeah <laughs> you know he it seems like the chef kind of could have said anything to him he wanted so badly for him to like him but he brought awesome. Margot slash Aaron there knowing she would be killed. Right, <laughs> Just yeah. Like, well, I can't miss my plating. <laughs> yeah, and they don't do tables for one. That's Hired cool. somebody to go die with him so mm-hmm. he can see it. Yeah, and... Man, he, he was a weird character in all of this, too, because he wasn't even, like, a main character. He no. was, like, the guy that she came with, kind of. But he was also, like, centrally... An asshole. And a piece he, of shit. he knew this was the end of her life, and he's still trying to tell her not to smoke before they got on the boat. Right. You know? Like, let yeah. her do what she wants. It's the last right. few hours of her life. Oh, <sighs> wow. Yeah, wild. That was a wild one. Yeah. Yeah, super cool, though. No creepy basement, I don't think. Nope. So, Peace, Love, Happiness broke his chain, broke their chain of uh, creepy basement movies. So. Yeah, but I will say, so far, Peace, Love, Happiness, good picks. Good in picks, my yes. yes. We, we, we vibe with your taste very much. So, uh, Thanks for watching, everybody, and making it all the way to the end of the video. Leave us a special comment if you made it to the end. We like to see those. And uh, keep watching our channel forever, because that is good for our metrics. (laughs) Yeah. Until next time, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. This is Ketchup Packets.